everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday morning. We went to Dutch Bros, got ourselves some coffee, had a little coffee date. I am finally using this walking pad today for the first time in like, I think I've only used this like one or two other times since we've lived here and I just like always forget about it. And I'm just trying to make Wednesdays my more kind of like low impact workout day. So just going for like a long walk or something like that, as opposed to like my high intensity, like cardio, strength training, et cetera, types of workouts. So that's what we're doing. I have a main channel video to edit today. I'm hoping that miraculously, like people say that this happens, my like productivity and my attention span are just gonna when I walk on this thing while I'm editing because there's not many other distractions. I'm not like on my phone or anything like that. So we'll see what happens. And then I think maybe today I might want to go thrifting to look for a couple things. We are actually having, I think by the time, yeah, by the time this vlog comes out, that'll have already happened, but we're having a surprise birthday party for Drew's mom this weekend. It's a big birthday for her and it's really exciting. So we are throwing, like basically she knows, she's coming over and she knows that like, we're gonna be there. Drew's brother and his fiance are gonna be there. Drew's sister, nieces, etc. But she doesn't know that like her friends, her coworkers, pretty much the entire family is gonna be there as well. So that's gonna be really, really fun. And we're hosting it here at our house. So there's just lots of prep to be done. We're getting it catered. We're ordering decorations. There's a lot going on, so we're gonna do a little party prep and I want to thrift for some stuff Because like, you know, always trying to find cute unique stuff and it gives me an excuse to like I don't know do more decorating because this house is temporary But I still want to feel like at home in it. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's what we're up to and we will check in in a little bit when hopefully I've gotten a lot more than this done, which is nice actually like noon now and typically I would eat lunch at like one but I had kind of a late breakfast I'll probably eat lunch around like two ish because we've been eating dinner a little bit later anyway so we're just gonna make my usual which is a Greek yogurt bowl like a parfait type of thing and some eggs you know if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm just taking a little a little brain break I just got off the phone with my dad I had a little catch up with him which was really nice we talked for like 30 minutes or so and that was really wonderful and I miss him a lot so I hope that I'll be able to see him soon but we're gonna do some Greek yogurt some maple syrup some strawberries maybe some granola pour until your heart tells you to stop <laughs> <laughs> I saw a figure and I heard something. Yeah, <laughs> it was perfect, honestly. I was trying to be sneaky. You were so sneaky. Okay, we're gonna do some good old scrambled eggs. I'm having a waffle with peanut butter. Not cookie butter? Not happening. Um. Anyway, um, that's really it. I have nothing else to update you on. That's how exciting my life is, is that I had to tell you that I was coming down here to make a snack. But I also just wanted to, for my work from home baddies, take brain breaks throughout the day because I did not do that yesterday and I, am, I was crashing out. Was I not like, I was not well. I edited for like nine hours straight or something like that and my brain was not okay. Like I literally had to sit there with my head in my hands and just like take deep breaths. Like I was like not well, so don't do that to yourself. <laughs> don't let capitalism win. <laughs> but seriously, make sure you're taking care of yourself and taking breaks. Okay, I'll show you what my breakfast is doing. Delicious. I know earlier I was saying that, um, you know, I need to take brain breaks. I didn't do a very good job at that today and um, I'm suffering as a result, but it's okay. And um, we just got off work. We're gonna head to Drew's mom's house for dinner, but we're gonna stop by Savers to see if there's stuff from the party, like I mentioned before, and maybe a chair. All right, 
first. We're gonna check for wall art. There's usually always good stuff here. Okay, cute. So far we have maybe this. I'm not liking that box. Look at these. This says, wine won't wait. I love to cook with wine. Today's lesson, enjoy in drinking. <laughs> These are really cute. America. We also have a throwback Olympics vibe. Kind of cool. All right, let's be quick. We don't have much time. We have groceries in the car. This is the only chairs and it's a no. But we found some things for ourselves. This lamp is so cool. It's kind of beat up, but freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at this little frame, it's so cute. Cool picture. Fondue, hell yeah. Let's make fondue. Now this, when I say I want a margarita, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, these are kind of cute. These are all cottages. These are fine porcelain. Should we pick a couple? Or just like one? Holly Pot Cottage. Is that where it's made? We need to look it up. It's definitely, it has to be Franklin England. Franklin Mint Heirloom. So cool. We've landed on this one. Okay. I mean, sure. Hey, we're doing a car haul. This camera is definitely gonna fall. We got these cute little, I don't even know what these are. Little figurines. They're like little mushroom elf cottage looking things. Love it. We got some English cottages themed coasters how cool are those 449 for like a few of them watch out i think it's gonna be okay the other ones were 499 we did pick out this plate it's really pretty and i think it's hand painted hollyhock cottage we're gonna look it up it has to be somewhere in the uk maybe so here's that we got this kind of decrepit uh picture frame thing but i think once we fix it up it'll be really cute so we can like hang it and then we did end up getting this because I think all of these together could be a vibe. Now we're going to go eat dinner with Drew's mom. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. everyone it is the next day it's about 10 30 and i have had quite a busy morning i've been doing so much work and so much random stuff i randomly like decided to wash these windows this morning because we're having people over this weekend and they were just like disgusting and filthy so i literally went out there with my like spin mop soapy water hosed all of the windows down and then had my mop and was just like washing the windows because i don't know why not and so we have all of the blinds open and it's so nice and bright in here right now you probably can't tell from the camera but um been doing some laundry we had our little coffee date this morning i was sanitizing and cleaning the stuff that we thrifted last night and i think today i'm actually gonna go to another thrift store and check out more stuff there number one because i've always been wanting to go there and it seems really cool and number two just to see if there's any you know stuff for the house why not hello this is me from the future i realized that i didn't explain anything because that's how my brain works but basically i am trying to add some things to our downstairs bathroom because it's just really plain there's nothing there it's just a hand towel and like nothing else and since we're having people over this weekend I used it as an excuse to like buy some stuff for that bathroom so that's what I'm referring to in this video I think later I say something about like a makeover so we're essentially gonna take our downstairs bathroom from like bare nothing to like hopefully cute and cozy I had a bunch of credits to use from thread up so I got a couple of pieces and not sponsored or anything like that but I got this dress which I just washed and dried it is so cute and then I got this cute little yellow cardigan that is drying currently and then I got another dress that's already dried and it's upstairs so I'm feeling good I'm feeling accomplished I'll show you some of the stuff that we got yesterday we ended up putting those cute little like mushroom fairy house things on this kitchen shelf and then on the little like I don't even 
don't know what that is console table over there so here we have the little mushroom house i want to live in there so bad it's so cute and then the other one is over here it's so cute over here i love it so here is my very casual outfit of the day whoa the sunlight is bright on my legs but yeah i have this dress i think it's originally from old navy i got it on thread up have a cute little charm necklace I have my Free People London hat, got some gold hoops, and my white, <laughs> you can't even see that, my white Adidas Sambas. Here they are. Anyways, we do want to get some more decor stuff for the party. Um, all we have so far is this cat stuff. Drew's mom loves cats. We got some of these things on Amazon, but I think we're going to go to Party City maybe like tomorrow and see. I have some returns to drop off from stuff that didn't work out for videos. And then we're going to head to the thrift store. So we will see what we end up finding. I just made myself a little snack and I am ready to hit the road. So let's do it. All right, got my errands done. We're just outside the thrift store. I have so much stuff in the trunk and I think I might just end up like the stuff from my closet clean out on my main channel. So I think I might just bring that entire bag of stuff in here because this place specifically, I'm pretty sure um, the charity that it donates to is for um, domestic violence against women. So we're gonna do that and then see what they've got in here. I'm mostly looking for home stuff, but I'm also open to like, you know, whatever they got. So we'll see. They had cool stuff, but it was kind of a bust. It was nothing really that I was looking for, but I did find a $5 chair. It was originally $10 and all the furniture was half off, so that's pretty cool. But now I'm just gonna swing by a Goodwill as like kind of a last stop and see what they have. Otherwise, it's fine. I don't really know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just PMSing and I wanna thrift. So wish me luck. Maybe this stop will be the place. All right, that was a little bit of a bust. But I just popped into Ross really quickly because I have some gift cards to use left. And I was looking for stuff for like a birthday gift for Drew's mom, etc. And I found so much cute stuff. And they just have so much here. Like this pair of silver cowboy boots. Hello. These are so adorable. Then they also have Doc Martens. Like actual Doc Martens. I mean, these are teeny tiny. So much cute stuff. having the time of my life. And I'm not just saying that because I've worked with them. I just like literally love Ross. I'm in the sheets aisle now. There are so many cute freaking sheets. Look at these floral sheets. Adorable. None of these are in the size of my bed, but like, look at these. Oh, I love them. There's Halloween ones. I mean, yeehaw. I found these and they're a similar color to the Ikea ones that I had, but the Ikea ones are trash. So I might try these for $34.99. I've got so much cute stuff in there. I need to be cut off. Okay, that was a successful trip. I got everything I needed for this cute little mini bathroom makeover. So I'm gonna get home, make some lunch, and I will show you guys later what we end up doing with it. Ah, Ross was a hit. All the thrift stores I'm afraid were a miss today. That's just how it is sometimes, but I'm feeling good. The retail therapy scratch has been itched indeed. Itch has been scratched, whatever.
Okay, I'm home. I thought I would show you my haul and actually as I was like, I had to give Drew like the first viewing, of course. Yeah. I was, I was like, I only spent $13 today. Because I bought that chair, which I'll show you a little clip of it at the table. It looks really cute. I bought that chair for $5. Then I went into Hobby Lobby. And I had seen a lot of people on TikTok talking about how Hobby Lobby has like anthropology dupes. And I mean, it was mostly not my, not my thing. But I found this piece of art and all the art was 50% off. So I got this for like 7 or $8. And I thought that was cute. And then the rest the raw stuff, I had a gift card. So I spent $13 and I got like a ton of stuff. So that's the first thing besides the chair. Then for my raw stuff, I got a couple things for Drew's mom's birthday. She's a big sunflower girly. She loves sunflowers. So got her some curtain rods and some bath like hand towel things because she's moving soon. So that'd be exciting. Then I did end up getting this replacement sheet set. I don't, it's not like, it's definitely not as scrappy as the Ikea ones. I think this will be good. This will definitely be good. So these are by Vince Camuto. Love that. I got this cute little frame to maybe go in the bathroom in there. It's like a lot of golds and like browns and antique looking stuff. This was $4.99. We love that. Then I found this cute little drying rack. Like this goes underneath our drying rack in our kitchen. It's just a little mat for, yeah, underneath like your dish rack and it has radishes on it. And I knew Drew was obsessed with it. He opened the bag and he goes, then I got this piece of art. This is $12.99. It's just this like really ornate gold frame that I love. I'm not like obsessed with the flowers in the middle of it, but it's just such a nice frame. You could easily switch it out with something else in the future. And then last but not least, my favorite thing is these little like bath mats or just floor rug thingies. And they're so cute. I want a full size rug like this and they're washable. So maybe we'll put one out here in the kitchen possibly and then one in the bathroom in there. And it's perfect. So we're gonna put this stuff together in the bathroom in a little bit, but I wanna eat lunch first. We just finished eating our lunch and I was gonna eat one of these Oreos. We got the Coke flavored Oreos and I forgot that we filmed a clip when our niece was here, maybe like last week or something like that. So. I'll insert that here. Okay, this is a random clip that I'm inserting into some vlog. Um, basically, my niece is obsessed with filming YouTube videos, AKA just filming videos on my phone that just stay on my phone. And I think I'm gonna edit them all together for a video for her, like when she's older or something. But anyway, she just went to Target with us and we got the Coke flavored Oreos and she wants to film herself <laughs> on my phone trying them. And she wants us to be behind the camera, not on camera, of course, because she's the star. So I figured I would film me and Drew trying them behind the camera, and then you can hear her trying it off camera, if that makes sense. Did I start? He was going, three, two, one, action. Hi guys, I'm back to another video with me. And today we're going to be doing, trying these like Coke Oreos, so let's get started. Whoa, wait, okay. I smell it. Mm. It also says that, I didn't realize this, but it also says that there's popping candy inside of it. So one half is red and it says Coke. And the other half says Oreo. Cheers. Cheers. You gonna try it? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> it gives me a headache. It tastes like sunscreen. I, am I just like, do I have flawed taste buds or something? Because everything I try, I'm like, I don't taste it. I'm not, no. Yeah, I'm not, not into it. Either. If you guys want to buy this at my link, go ahead. Bye. What do you know about links? Even though you don't like it, you want them to buy it? Yeah. That's it, like doo doo. I know, it's so bad. Yeah, so gross. <laughs> And Carrie, you like it. <laughs> I do kind of like it. There's our official review. What do you give it out of 10? Zero. Negative one. Negative oral points? I like the original oh, one. What do you give it? Maybe like a four? Uh, give it like a six. Don't love it, don't hate it. So there you go. Honestly, I don't think they're that bad. Like, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but we'll get through them. It's fine. Hello, everybody. It's the next day. I... 
I've had quite the dilemma this morning. I'm joking, but I was fake tanning and it's like, you know, a little splotchy. It's okay. We don't have to worry about that. Um, I was fake tanning because I usually do on Fridays and I have so much to do that I'm, I was like, let's just get it over with now. Um, and I realized that I tested out this new foundation. I got sent the foundation from One Size Beauty, the new, I'm going to put the name of it on the screen. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and it's definitely not the right color. I don't know if you can tell as much on camera as you can in person, but my face is like orange and my body is brown. And um, that was a grave mistake, <laughs> which is good because I will be filming a video now. So <laughs> keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm gonna tackle my like thrifted pile of things that I wanna upcycle. I mentioned it in a recent main channel video. So that's what I'm gonna get up to now. Just finished watching a Remy vlog. I love watching Remy's vlogs so much. I'm obsessed with her and Alicia's vlogs. They're both so, so good. I love both of them and they make my days brighter. So I feel really good. I feel motivated. I feel inspired and we're gonna get after it. So I think I'm gonna finish this filming here in like the next few hours and then I will take you downstairs and we will do the little mini makeover of the downstairs bathroom. It'll be great. Drew and I actually went back out yesterday after work and we did a little more like shopping. We just got a couple more things. So I think we are finally all set for the party tomorrow. So that'll be really fun. I'll show you guys like a little clip of everything after it's all set up. And yeah, we just have one more stop to make today after work. So we'll do that and that'll be us for today. So anyways, I got some filming to do. We will check in later. All right, it's a few hours later. I am finished with my work, finished with my lunch. It's actually like, I don't know, 2.30 or something like that. And now I'm finally gonna get started on the bathroom makeover. So here is a little overview of what the bathroom looks like. It's quite plain. There's nothing happening except here. I'll turn on this light. These lights are so yellow, I hate it. But um, we have some cute towels. We have a soap, a poopery, a toilet paper, and a candle. And that is quite literally it. So we're gonna we're gonna try to fix this up since we have so many people. We're gonna have like 25 people at our house. Okay, so we have our little pile here of all the stuff that I got yesterday. So I feel like first things first, I should just like wipe down the bathroom just to make sure it's nice and clean. Well, I'll actually do that first. Whew. <coughs> All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is put down this rug just because I feel like this is what really makes it like nice and cozy. I like it a lot. Oh, it's so nice. We love that. Okay, don't mind the toilet bowl, I'm cleaning it. Next, I kinda wanna figure out what to put on the walls. There's actually already a, or a nail on the wall right here, but it's not very centered and it's like way too high up, so I'm gonna move it, but I'm thinking like something here above the towels Something here next to the light switch and then something here behind the door. But what that's gonna be, I do not know. So we've got the cute plate. We've got this floral print. We have these other ornate frames. We have this that could potentially go on the counter, we'll see. We have this, but I don't know if we have enough photos for both of these printed out. And then these are a must. So it's just a matter of deciding what goes where. Now, could I do both of these behind the door? Yes, I could. Or we could do like these two like this and then this one on its own. Hmm. I think I'm picturing this one like above the towels right here. This will be good. We'll start with that. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Above it. It's like you're pooping in the hills. Pooping chorus. in the countryside. We love yeah. it. No one better poop down here. I'm kidding. <laughs> Got the poopery. Okay. Next, I'm thinking this big boy maybe should go behind the door because it's like the biggest piece. And so I'm like, I don't want to do the golds too close to each other. I don't want it to be too matchy matchy. So I think I'm going to do this one behind the wall. But the only annoying thing is, Ooh. you know, it's got these two hooks. You mean to install? To well, you. no, because look. Oops. Oh, true, yeah. Why don't I touch it on here so I don't mess up the frame? Okay, problem solved. Let me clean the toilet and wash my hands and we'll come back. This is bothering me. Okay, while he's working on that, we're gonna do this wall. Now what I'm kind of thinking 
is hanging this plate over this round piece here. I'm thinking like this. Because this on its own I don't feel like is enough. I don't really know if I like this on its own either. So why not both, you know? That just makes me so nervous, but good thing we don't have earthquakes here. Okay, is that not centered? No, it's not. Sure, that'll work. I'll take this off just to be safe while I'm hammering this one. A little further down, we will do the other guy. Can you even see me? Probably not. So cute, I love that there. That is super cute as well. Wait, I think I love that. I think I'm actually obsessed with that. Now, is, is hand soap traditionally on your right or on your left? I'm only using this soap because Drew and I picked it out, you saw in the last vlog, but also because it matches the towels and it smells amazing. So I'm going to put it to the left of the towels and then maybe I'll put like that little frame here if we can find a photo for it and then a candle in this corner. All right, now let's hang this bad boy. Oh God, I'm scared. Am I knocking anything over? Behind this door. To finish it off, we are gonna put in this little candle that was already in there, but I'm gonna put it back in there. It's the Mahogany Vanilla Candle by Bath & Body Works. It's gonna be nice, and we're gonna just have it going pretty much like the whole party. So we'll put that in the corner, like over here. And then I think I'm gonna add that picture frame here. We don't have a picture for it yet, and we're not gonna just keep this, because no offense, this is ugly. <laughs> You'll just have to use your imagination, because we'll probably get something printed or something like that tonight. So that'll be going with a cute little photo in it, and then that'll be lit the whole time. And now we'll just put the clean hand towels. There's one. This rack is so wide and these towels are so skinny. I'm just gonna do it like this. There's two. Beautiful. All right, and here is the after, minus the picture, which we will put in there sometime tonight. But I think it looks so much better. It's so cozy and so cute. Who wouldn't want to go to the bathroom in here? All right, that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I think it's a pretty long one. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you cozied up with like a nice little snack or a drink or something. I am gonna shower off this fake tan. It's looking a little scary and I'm gonna like fix the color of my foundation. Although it doesn't look too bad right now. So maybe it'll be okay. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this vlog and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Oh, and I'll end this with like a little bit of footage from the party. Bye.